Five exciting movies coming to Netflix spring 2019. It seems like Netflix has no other thing in mind but to outdo itself year after year. In 2018, Netflix announced that it was close to hitting the 1,000 mark for original programming. With even more content coming through this year, it's possible that the entertainment company will achieve this record-breaking feat before 2019 ends. With an overwhelming number of existing and upcoming blockbusters, along with a gazillion television series titles, docu-series, and stand-up specials to choose from, choosing the perfect content to watch in Netflix could become a huge dilemma. As such, this video will help you sift through the best of yet to come. Without further ado, here are five of the most exciting Netflix original films coming this spring 2019. Number 5. Murder Mystery it cannot be denied, when we hear the name Adam Sandler attached to a Netflix original title, it typically rouses suspicion in the minds of movie watchers. Despite him making history for being the first Hollywood personality whose name got signed up exclusively with Netflix, the movies he's been making in the platform has done nothing but draw the public's ire. There is a possibility, though, that Murder Mystery could be an exception from the lot. The fact is, it's not technically an Adam Sandler movie, such that it's not co-produced by his Happy Madison production company. The Jewish comic act would just appear as a leading act opposite Jennifer Aniston and Luke Evans. This mystery-slash-comedy title is directed by Kyle Nuichek and penned by the amazing Spider-Man writer James Vanderbilt. The synopsis reveals Sandler playing an NYC cop who got invited with his wife, played by Aniston, to a gathering. Both become suspects when their host, Terrence Stamp, got murdered. Number 4. Six Underground Looking for more of that teeth-gnashing, heart-pumping, throat-drying action sequences you probably enjoyed with the recently released Netflix film Polar? We might be getting ahead of ourselves here, but this could really be the case with the upcoming action film from Michael Bay, Six Underground. You heard that right, the infamous amateur of bombastic carnage and flashy sequences is now in Netflix to once again flaunt his one-of-a-kind artistic flair. Together with Ryan Reynolds, Six Underground is a movie about a team of criminals who formed a vigilante squad that targets the world's notorious criminals. Reynolds will be reuniting with Deadpool screenwriter duo Rhett Rees and Paul Wernick. Given this hint, it shouldn't be surprising if the film will take a more action-comedic direction and less of a John Wicky treatment. But who knows, we're already too excited to see what's in store from these guys. Number 3. Always Be My Maybe Suffice to say, rom-com movies are running a plenty on Netflix. So many that you'd probably think that this service is on a mission to bring back the romantic comedy genre. From To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which people are actually still talking about, to Set It Up, it looks like Netflix is already halfway there. With their massive popularity, Netflix is undoubtedly hoping to replicate the same formula of success with the upcoming Always Be My Maybe. Directed by Nanachka Khan of Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23 and Fresh Off the Boat fame, the flick is also co-written and starred by rising comedians Ali Wong and Randall Park. The plot goes as follows. Two childhood sweethearts had a fallout, but fate intervened to have them run into each other years later in San Francisco. The catch? Each of them now belongs to a vastly different socioeconomic status. Will it still work? Number 2. Triple Frontier The guys you probably must have dated in your dreams are in this movie. Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam, Pedro Pascal, and Garrett Hedlund. Do the names somehow ring a bell? The film follows a group of friends made up of military veterans who reunited to carry out a risky mission of robbing a South American drug lord. Unexpected chain of drastic events soon followed after. You cannot go back to your normal life after tonight. Mark Bowl, the screenwriter behind two of the most remarkable military dramas, The Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty, had Triple Frontier under pre-production for almost a decade. If you thought the aforementioned names were big enough already, stars such as Tom Hanks, Will Smith, Tom Hardy, and Channing Tatum, just to mention a few, almost made it for this movie. Will you be checking out this film? Let us know in the comments below. Number 1. The Irishman If this happened 5 to 10 years ago, it would be considered as utter madness to think that Martin Scorsese would be making a direct-to-streaming feature-length film. 
it's hard to wrap one's mind on the idea that the guy who made probably some of the most legendary films such as Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, or Goodfellas, just to name a few, would cross over to Netflix. But could anyone really blame the streaming giant to invite a widely celebrated otter such as Scorsese to come over to their side of the fence? The truth is, Netflix is more than willing to pour billions of production investment if it means creating stellar quality original content. As such, Scorsese will once again be working with Robert De Niro in the upcoming mobster flick, The Irishman. This dream project is based on a book by Charles Brandt, I Heard You Paint Houses. It received a production budget of $200 million, the most expensive project Scorsese has ever had his hands on. Aside from De Niro, other big names are attached to The Irishman, including Al Pacino and Joe Pesci. The story revolves around De Niro's Frank Sheeran, the man who claims responsibility for the killing of Pacino's Jimmy Hoffa. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.